he was asked about it today. Um, I, I, okay, he was at, oh yeah, okay, so yeah, that actually my team, I followed his same confusion. He was asked about Title 42, the immigration, uh, basically rule that says we, when we're in a pandemic, we don't have to entertain anybody's asylum claim down at the border. Okay, this thing that he's going to lift in May. Uh, and it's controversial because we're already having a crisis at the southern border and so on. Okay, so he's asked about Title 42. And you tell me, because I heard an answer about the mask mandate, and they've spent now hours trying to clean it up, and I'm deeply concerned. Listen here. On Title 42, sir, are you considering delaying lifting Title 42? No, what I'm considering is continuing to hear from my, uh, my uh, well, first of all, there's going to be an appeal by the Justice Department. Because as a matter of principle, we want to be able to be in a position where if, in fact, it is strongly concluded by the scientists that we need Title 42, that we'd be able to do that. But there has been no decision on extending Title 42. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. He's going to run. He's going to oh run. Oh, my God. Is that real? <laughs> yes. It's not a deep fake? I thought that was oh, a man. Megyn Kelly deep fake. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. I wish my audience could have seen the three of you while that was playing. The, that one was by amazing. one, the faces were. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> I thought horrifying. he was going to start talking about Pearl Harbor. The man is just not in the same universe as the rest of us. I mean, you remember how many jokes? I mean, we should. There's probably some service that can tally this for us. How many jokes there were about the dumb things that came out of George W. Bush's mouth? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, it was every single night and, you know, justifiably so in some ways. I mean, he's a president. You should make fun of him if he's, you know, uh, misstating things, using the wrong words. Um, you know, was it uh, the one that became part of the lexicon, one of uh, George Bush's malapropisms? But this I'm is never mentioned by, you know, late night hosts, by anyone. It's the unspoken thing is that this man it's kind of concerning that the president does not seem to know what is going on about 50% of the time and has a person in a bunny suit pulling him oh away God. from questions about Afghanistan, that which sounds like, you know, some acid trip fever dream in, you know, a Jefferson airplane song. There's a giant <laughs> rabbit taking the president <laughs> away from a question about <laughs> Afghanistan. This is the place that we live now. As long as it's not Donald Trump, we're fine. Well, no, I mean, Donald Trump is in the rear view mirror for me, and I'm concerned about the current president yeah. who doesn't seem to have his uh, his faculties about we're going to uh, show the bunny tape him. but before we get to that i want to issue <laughs> i want to read you the statement that president biden <laughs> issued clarifying what we just heard mm -hmm. i want to clarify that in comments at the conclusion of my remarks this morning keep in mind this is, this is today i was referring to the cdc's mask mandate we know. We know. And yeah. there is no Department of Justice action on Title 42. We know. You're the only one who didn't understand. Like, what? So, okay, the Let Easter Bunny clear. thing, we haven't discussed that yet on this program, and it's too delicious not, like, not to spend some time on. So he was at this event, he's working the rope line, and he's talking to somebody in the audience about Afghanistan, and, you know, he's not allowed to talk about Afghanistan for all the obvious reasons. You can't be, I, don't revisit that, and don't say how you really feel, and stop spewing nonsense about how it was the greatest success ever. And um, apparently it was a press aide inside of the Easter Bunny <laughs> costume who goes over to, like, literally pull him away and start like jumping up and down like oh look over here over here we're gonna you can, you can gather some from the listen and you can certainly gather some from watching it here it is did you see the fright here's the bunny <laughs> literally started waving in front of his face <laughs> it's like no no you're done he jumped. <laughs> There's a big bunny in front of me. I have oh, to leave man. now. It, did someone even ask him about Afghanistan or he, was he just volunteering his insights about <laughs> Afghanistan knows? at the road there? It doesn't seem like that kid, those kids in the masks asked about Afghanistan. He, they needed that bunny and his comments about Title 42. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's one of the most exciting investment opportunities to come around for some time. But what about the taxes? With an Alto Crypto IRA, you can trade crypto like Bitcoin and avoid or defer the taxes. 
Alto's Crypto IRA is the easy way to get crypto into an IRA. You can trade all you want without the tax headache. Create an account in just a few minutes. No setup charges, no account fees. Secure trading 24-7 through Alto's integration with Coinbase. You ready to take your investments to the next level? Diversify like the pros and trade without tax headaches. Open an Alto Crypto IRA with as little as $10. Just go to altoira.com slash Megan. That's A-L-T-O-I-R-A dot com slash M-E-G-Y-N. Start investing in cryptocurrency today. Go to altoira.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.